Hello friends, uh, I am Dr. Ajay Dixit uh, from Business Economics. Uh, today we will discuss the concept stagflation, its meaning, its causes and the real world examples. Before coming to the concept, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, Mr. Gupta's concern after COVID-19. On one hand, his salary is constant during COVID-19 and after COVID-19 while his expenses, his expenditure is growing at an exponential rate. So if this situation is there, salary is constant, money that comes to his house is constant whereas his expenses are growing. This situation we may call as the situation of stagflation. Now we come to this concept. Jane MacLeod, a British parliamentarian, coined this phrase in 1965. It refers to an economic situation where unemployment and inflation coexist. Means on one hand, inflation is growing, prices of the commodities are going up, but there is a unemployment in the economy. It is also called inflation in the stagnant economy, means the stagflation. On one hand, stagnation is there, there is no growth into the economy, whereas there is a inflation in the economy. With these two diagrams, we can understand this concept now. Uh, stagnation, GDP or national income is declining or not growing. On the other hand, inflation, that is persistent rise in general price level is there. In the first diagram, if, if we see, uh, inflation is going up while as the GDP row is going down. So that creates the gap after the break even. In stagflation, on one hand GDP is declining, there is a increase into the price level, unemployment is also increases. This is the economic interpretation of stagflation. Uh, we have aggregate supply, aggregate demand curve. At point E, we will have equilibrium where we are there at N output and P price level. In stagflation or after stagflation, our aggregate supply curve will shift to the left side, which will give us new equilibrium point of E1. At E1, we are facing higher price level and we have less output. Now we come to the causes, why this situation arises of stagflation, why inflation is there, why there is a stagnant growth into the economy. There are a number of causes this one, we will take them one by one. The first reason or cause is supply shocks. Now people will run to buy limited stock of goods and due to that prices increases. It happens because of supply chain shocks. After COVID-19, we have experienced there is a supply uh, chain that breaks up. Due to the breakup of this supply chain, there is a deficit into the supply. Supply reduces, but rem demand remains same. Second cause, increasing cost of production leads to increase in prices of commodities, which ultimately leads to inflation. The third cause is the low productivity. If productivity is low, means people are not working up to their mark, optimum production is not possible, so cost increases due to that cost of production increases and prices of commodities will also increase, but the output of the company is lower. Same is happening to the country also. Then wage increase due to the trade unions. We know that now trade unions will resist the cut into the wages, where companies want to reduce the wages but these unions will resist that but there is no increase in their productivity so cost of production increases increase in cost of production will lead to the inflation social benefit we call the freebies nowadays unnecessary freebies leads to inefficiency if freebies are not proper and they are given they will lead to increase in inefficiency of the people inefficiency will reduce the production and it reduces the desire of the working population to work seriously. Those who are working, they feel that if we are not working, there will not be any problem. But that reduces production, but cost will increase. Then more and strict regulations we call rate tapism. If more and more regulations are there from the government, 
naturally clearing of the files and all other things will be delayed delayed of all these leads to delayed of the production delayed of the output if output is less we come into the situation of stagflation increase in taxes by the government if government consistently increases taxes there will be increase into the price of the commodities because if we have indirect taxes indirect taxes will ultimately take into account the taxes of the government and prices of the commodities increases so it leads to inflation then we have deficit financing deficit financing means when government's expenditure is higher but its income is lower in that situation government will print the new notes or it can take the loans from the bank central bank or international agencies but its burden will be there on the economy then we have frequent policy changes if one government takes one decision after 6 month or after one year if the government changes its own rules and regulations then businessmen or the economy cannot understand these frequent changes that will ultimately leads to reduction into the output but cost is there so cost will increase cost of production will increase but output reduces now we come to the third stage of this lecture that is some of the examples of the stagflation because now we have seen concept we have seen its causes but we have to see whether this stagflation is really is there into the world or it just a imaginary concept for this first of all we'll come to the europe europe's gdp or growth rate is declining recently especially after the covid-19 and after the uh, rus ukraine war european union that is eu it is the third largest economy into the world in nominal terms after united states and china and the third one in purchasing power parity terms after china and the united states gdp is up by just 0.6% and employment just by 0.3% into the euro area recently but in covid-19 there was decline in employment also there was decline in gdp that is experienced by the entire world so on one hand the gdp is declining on the other hand in covid-19 period there was lot of expenditure done by the government that money is pumped up that increased money supply into the economy will lead to the inflation so gdp or growth rate of the economy of europe is declining and inflation is increasing this is the best example of stagflation another that is inflation part is there that we have given here of europe if we see the estonia latvia lithuania their percentage growth of inflation is very high and if we come to the entire europe it is 9.8% which is highest in last 50 years so europe is experiencing a huge inflation rate that the same figures we have given there after also uh, for all other countries now <coughs> america we come to the usa in usa's in covid 19 period money supply is fastly increasing national debt is increasing but if we come to the first curve that its growth rate is declining in covid period it is minus 0.9 minus 9.5% but inflation is increasing money supply is increasing unemployment is increasing into the us economy so here also we can have the experience of stagflation if we come to the major countries of the world especially into the corona virus period gdp get contracted we have just an exceptional example of china in covid period but all other countries if we see our histograms is going down and that shows the growth rate of all the economy is declining but money is pumped up money supply increases that leads to inflation now recently even china is also experiencing the decline into the growth rate while the inflation in china is also going up but we could could not get a proper data from a closed country like china so these are some of the examples of stagflation now this is about the stagflation thank you